Welcome back, guys, to Final Fantasy V for Job Fiesta. In the last episode, we drew our second job, and now we have a Mystic Knight amongst our Blue Mage army here. So now I officially... I could turn two people into Mystic Knights, but I don't quite have the equipment. Well, you know, I could just buy it, I suppose. Maybe when I get to the next weapon place or weapon shop or whatever, I can do that? Wait, how do you... Hang on. I don't remember... Okay, you get, you get up there, somehow. We have to go to the next floor to actually get there, don't we? Not all the way here, though, because this is just... Oh, wait, maybe. Hmm, it looks kind of peculiar. No, this is just the throne room. We're going to start off this video by getting lost. How does that sound? <laughs> oh, man. I'll just love it. There's the king's room. Is he doing all right? Oh, king's request. If you have to hear you, why don't you return to Tycoon? Surely they must all be worried. Trying to get me to watch that cutscene. So you were correct. King Morris, are you alright? Please hurry to Karnak. They are also using a machine to amplify the crystal's power. It appears a meteor has also fallen near Karnak. There's no time to waste. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Well, there's our next goalie goal. But before we do that, just in case, and it hasn't happened yet, but it might... Actually, now that I think about it, I don't know if the normal run is, like, guaranteed to always draw a job, like... Like, the, the second draw will always draw from the second crystal, and the third draw will always draw from the third crystal. I, I'm just assuming here that it can still draw jobs from the first crystal, even though it's not the first draw. I am not going down that staircase, let me tell you. I've already done this, though. Wait, I didn't go here. What in the world is all this about? I don't know. Your books suck. Too much information, too little. As for Shiva, was sealed in water purified by the crystal. Huh. It's funny you should mention that. <laughs> Ancient library far to the west, huh? Well,. I'm sure we'll never see that place. You know? Because they do that all the time in RPGs, don't they? They mention other places, and then you never get to see them. Is this guy okay? As I was investigating the inside of the meteor that fell by Karnak, I fell unconscious. I found myself in a meteor around some tower. Hey you, where am I? Where the heck's my castle? Uh, <laughs> Very strange, very strange indeed. Ah, maybe maybe it's over here. I did go up some stairs before I came to this. This might be like the other way out. Oh, storage. Well, don't mind if I do. If there's anything actually here, I don't, don't seem like there is. Oh, there was some gill. <laughs> the legends say that the ice Esper Shiva was sealed somewhere in this castle long ago. Well, damn straight she was. And they did a pretty good job of hiding her, I guess. It's not in the basement. Oh, jeez. Oh, I can go down to the first floor from here. Oh, that's the basement over there, huh? People down in the dungeon are trash. Don't listen to their pleas, whatever you do. Oh, hang on. Where you ever could be talking to? Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, will you please let me out of here? No! You're probably in there for some reason. Okay. I'm the Great Thief Lone Wolf. Won't you let me out? Nope. Apparently, if you do let him out, he actually steals a treasure later, so... Actually, I will let you out. I changed my mind. Yay, I'm so lucky! <laughs> Here he goes. Celebrate out. Oh. He's passed out. Let's leave. Yep. Sounds good. The king is very nice, but he still doesn't forgive bad things. What in the world could you have done? You're an old man. Old people don't do evil things. Unless they're Christopher Lee, then maybe. You know, as Darth... What's his name? This isn't the basement here, is it? Oh god, this is the basement. Get out of here. We're not running into that thing. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Here we go. This is what we were looking for. Yes, sirree. Let's take a little dip in the water. We're gonna go the wrong way, though, because... You know the number one number one rule of RPGs. Uh oh. Well, 
that's probably gonna dump me off somewhere I back in the beginning. We don't want that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, alright then. Into the waterfall we go. And this is the hidden water tower within the castle. You know how they said they had an Esper hidden here? But we're gonna go get it, just in case. Just in case. <laughs> it's not likely, but just in case. I don't know, man. Wow, no encounters on the way here? Are you sure about that? <laughs> there are encounters here. Just more toads. Like we care about those. Oh, Mystic Knight, look at him go. Yeah, I got a little boost in the HP too, I noticed. You can't see it now, but his max HP is actually over 300, so... Getting a little boost in the stats there from changing jobs, that's good. I'm not sure how that formula actually works, if there is one, or what it is, or... Anything like that, man, good defense too. Looking good all around. I wasn't sure, when I first got the job, my initial thought was, Oh, that's kinda boring, but, man. The thought of using, like, spells on your sword was never appealing to me, to be honest. Like, I never did it in Final Fantasy IX, even though it was really good. I just didn't... I don't know. I don't know why I didn't do it. I guess I always, like, psychologically equated it to taking two turns to attack, you know? Like, once to put the spell on the sword, and then once to actually attack. So you have to wait an extra turn to attack. I don't think that's how it actually is here, but it might be. That's what I can't remember, really. So, but anyway, so are we all healed up here? Let's, here, let's sort, and heal, heal, healy, 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 Matt Healy, Pat Healy, let's heal everybody, let's splurge here, and also let us equip you with this. Oh yeah, you didn't think I was going to forget, did you? <laughs> yeah, buddy. So right away we're going to go straight in. And just do our business here. I know she's in the back row, but that's okay. Actually, you know what? Here, do that instead. Holy crap, that was a pretty good spell. I should have moved a couple of people to the back row here. Because the way Shiva attacks, actually, is, um... Oh, here we go. When you're, when you're equipping a fire rod or any kind of rod and you use it as an item, the rod breaks. You lose it, but it casts a level 3 version of that spell. And I just lost Ferris. <laughs> it's a little unfortunate, but hey, we got Shiva. And we got an ice rod, well, what do you know? Trade one rod, get another. So yeah, the rod breaks and it casts the level 3 version, so I basically got a free fire 3 cast out of that. Which is not bad, I gotta say. <laughs> Would do again. Uh, no, we might get encounters on the way out of here, and I don't want... Oof, there's only one phoenix down. I don't think it's worth it. I think I'm just gonna hold out till I... Can you make up your mind whether or not you're in this screen, dude? Yeah, I'm just gonna tough it out when I leave here. Might actually run away from any battles I get. You know, there's actually a weapon in this game whose power is decided by how many battles you run away from. And I think, like, to maximize its power, you have to run away from 255 battles. So, and that thought briefly crossed my mind when I considered running from everything here on the way out. But I thought there's really no reason to do that. Our levels are gonna get out of balance. It's gonna happen because that's just the natural course of things in Final Fantasy. Don't be so upset about it. It's okay. If we had a thief, we could just warp out of here. I'm gonna run from this, though. Well... Dude! Thank you. Alright, down to 77 HP for Bart's here, but I think we're gonna make it. We'll be just fine. It's funny because we didn't have any encounters at all on the way up. Not until we got to the fourth floor. Yeah, but there you go. There you go, guys. Shiva. Easy as pie, man. More reason that blue mages are awesome, though. Because <laughs> they can equip rods in the first place. So if they couldn't do that, we wouldn't have been able to do that. So that's gonna help a lot. 
Did I have access to this water before? I don't think I did. So where would this actually go? Hmm. Well, I have to know now. Jeez, I can't turn around now. They would have cut me off at some point here. Alright. Oh no. Does that count as the basement? It looks like the basement. It had the same color palette. Oh, that worries me. That worries me. Boy, it just keeps going on forever, doesn't it? There's not like an entrance in here somewhere. No. Okay, well, I'm just gonna get back to the inn and sleep. And just go ahead and leave this place. You've seen the way out, so I don't need to direct you. Therefore, cut. And cut. Wait a second. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, dude. That's the only way out. Unless I have an item that can warm me out. I can't even, like, heal or anything? Oh, my gosh. Well, I hope it's safe to go. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have jumped down that waterfall. Oh, man, what if I just screwed myself here? can't save either. Mm-mm. Well, ain't that something. Alright, let's give it a go. Here we go. <laughs> please, no encounters. Please, no encounters. Oh, no, we're fine. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, thank the good, sweet, 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 sweet Lord. My sweet Lord, hallelujah. My, my Lord. What in the world? That's, <laughs> where'd that come from? Okay, well, the funny thing about castles is there's no inns in castles. The inn is in the town. If you want to stay, you gotta roll. Well, you gotta just sleep. You know what? Shut up. We're, we're sleeping here. Do 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 do. How many potions? Oh man, we went through those potions though, didn't we? Let's get back up to 40 here. Antidotes were fine, eye drops were fine, main keys were fine, luck out were fine, soft wheel, we'll get two more. And Phoenix down, I'm gonna get two. That's what I'm gonna do. Tents, oh, wow, okay, we'll get four. I'm gonna be really careful with the money here. So once again, I don't want to stumble into a new town and not be able to get any weapons. In fact, I think we're headed for a new town right now, actually. So, Dragon, away! Hi ho, Silva, away! Let's see. Yeah, we got a little ways to fly here. Let's gonna pass by the mountains here. Uh, it's up north. I'm not certain, couldn't we have done this before? Like, flown over... Wait a minute. There must be some reason we couldn't... Oh! Whoa, 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 okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm, th I'm being stupid again here. Uh, we can't fly over there. Because here's what happened. And I know the game tells you this at some point. I know we talked to that soldier in bed. And he mentioned something about going inside of the meteor. Where am I going? He mentioned something about going inside the meteor outside of his town. And when he woke up, he was he came out of the meteor and he was next to some tower. I think there's a character somewhere that explains it more clearly than that, but basically what happened was that soldier warped from the other meteor over by the other town that we're headed to to this one. And now, if you look at the meteor, it's open. This wouldn't have been open before if you'd come in here, so... Oh, and oh my god, I would so sleep here. The only thing missing is the sound of running water. Or the presence of it, for that matter. And here we go. Whippica! <laughs> well, we just lost a party member. What? <laughs> Lena's like, fucking, I'm going with him. There she goes. There she goes again. Everybody just jumps into things, you know? This place, I recognize it. And the soldier in the tower knew me, too. Who the heck am I? Mysteries! That's why I love this game, though. I mean, sure, the other Final Fantasy had... See, the, the other FFs had mysteries, too. Like the Serpent's Gate, for example. And those two rocks in the forest over there. Yeah, we're outside of the mountains now, just barely, but we're there. Let's see how different this meteor looks. See, this is a different meteor, but it's still so sleepable. Like, I'd set up a cot right up there on that ledge up there, and set up a Super Nintendo in there and play Secret of Mana, and just... just bask in the absolute aloneness 
and the wonderfulness of everything in the world. Bzz, bzz. Oh, what do we got? Grass turtle! Oh, jeez. Are we in the back row? Yeah, we are. Doesn't look like it, that's kind of weird. A little far from the edge of the screen here. This might not be a good idea. You know what? It doesn't have to be. Let's try Arrow. This blue magic does not cost MP in this game, and I'll tell you what, man. That Arrow is a damn good spell. I love Arrow. I always have. Because, you know, in most games, it's like... In most of these RPGs... Oh, Magic Sword, you know what? Do I have to buy magic to use that? I think I do. I didn't even think about that. Let's try something else. I should try to blind him too while we're at it. No, that didn't work. Okay. Here's the thing though, you can just try all this stuff and it's just so much fun. I love status ailments. But what I was saying before, uh, in most RPGs you have the standard four elements. You have Earth, Wind, Fire, well, wait a minute. Earth, wind, fire, and water. Well, that is. The arrow is one of those, though. The thing is, I'm so used to air being replaced with lightning. Like in Final Fantasy X, it's water, lightning, fire, and ice. And in Final Fantasy IV, it's fire, ice, lightning. In Final Fantasy VI, it's fire, ice, lightning. Then you have some variation of an earth spell, like Quake, or... Or just whatever, and I'm just spamming A, I'm sorry about this. Um, so that's why I like the wind spell, because it kind of flies under the radar a little bit. Like, it's not necessarily an element every time. It's like, it certainly wasn't an element in Final Fantasy VI, it seemed like. You had spells that were implied to be like wind, like West Wind, which incidentally was a blue magic, or well... It was a blue magic spell, wasn't it? Because Strago... Did I say that Gal was like the closest thing to a blue mage? I was wrong about that. He's more like a beast master, isn't he? I don't know my jobs very well, you guys. That's <laughs> very unfortunate, but uh. Oh, we got the spell. Okay. What the, the thing that those guys are doing there, where they're doing zero damage, that's the spell we want to learn here. The blue magic spell. Do I have anything multi targeting here? I don't think I do. That's okay. The arrow's fine. Um, yeah. This is a tricky spell to learn, because you can't- because it doesn't pop up and say that it's a spell. Like, usually when they use a spell, it has a name, like Goblin Punch or whatever, or Bite. You know, it'll pop up and it gives the attack a name. But this attack is a blue magic spell and doesn't have a name. So there's really no way for you to know that it's a blue magic spell other than to just pick it up by accident. That was it right there. It does zero damage, and the reason for that is because, basically, the amount of damage it does is the same as however much damage has been done to you. As in, the difference between your max HP and your current HP. And that's the spell there. In some other games, I think they call that revenge. So that's basically what it is. It's not the most useful thing in the world. I couldn't see it as being. Because you have to have really low HP to cast it. You know, like Frog. That's some pretty sweet gold we're picking up from those guys. Holy crap, dude. Alright, looks like we can go north or west here. Oh, jeez. There you go. Alright. So we're gonna head down this way a little bit here. The town should be here. Yeah, the town and the castle. Alright, let's check it out. People from the ancient library started telling us to not use the crystal's power. They were so persistent that the queen had a wall built to stop anyone from going to or coming from the ancient library. Jeez. A man named Sid is the one who created the machines to amplify the crystal's power. Oh. Suddenly I'm reading dialogue a lot more than I was when I first started this. I guess I'm starting to get into the story a little bit here. <laughs> well, we know the first place we're going here. I'm gonna play that piano is what we want to do. Hit it, Bart. Alright. Got better. 
gotta get good, you know? You never know. Ooh, what we got here? Very mysterious room. If I didn't know better, I'd say there were a secret passage in here. Probably not, though. Mm. Nothing much here. Alright, whatever. It's just a room. Sometimes a room is just a room, you know? Don't have any dancing ladies in here. All you got is... I'm in love with fire. Okay. Jacob, huh? Jacoby. Jacoby Grace. I'm an adventurer from Jacob, but the road from the ancient library to the south has been blocked, so I can't go home. Dang it. <laughs> it's almost too much like real life, isn't it? Have you heard? There's a rumor going around that Dr. Sid is locked up in jail. Well, ain't that something. <laughs> Alright. Okay. We definitely need to... Ooh. Amazingly inexpensive, you say? Let's see, just how... Holy crap! Yep. This is some good shit, and look at these prices! Well, this can't be real! This can't be real at all! Hey you, don't move! What are you gonna do to me, blue hair? It's them! You must be here with the monsters! I saw you come out of the meteor! Dude, I warped! I warped! I warped! I'm Jose Canseco!